Hello everybody, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to find the square root of a number without calculator. In order to do so, we need to follow these steps. The first step, we have to mark pairs from units and, and then the second step, we have to find the closest perfect square that is equal or lower to the first pair on the left. On the third step, we have to multiply above and add below the digit. And then we have to subtract the product of multiplication and uh, get the next pair down for the same box, down and below. Make the prediction, trial and error. In order to understand these uh, rules, we have to make practice. Let's write this number. 4, 3, 2, 9, 6, 4. We have to find the square root of this number. The first thing, I mean, the first step is mark peers from units end, which means we have to peer these digits from right to left. From right to left, we have three peers, as you can see here. And we have to find the closest perfect square that is equal to or lower to the first pair on the left. The first pair on the left is 43. And uh, I have to find uh, such a square here. That square should be the closest perfect square to the uh, to the 43. And uh, which means I have to put here such a digit. This digit and the square of this digit should be the closest perfect square. In my case, it should be 6. Because the 7th square is equal to 49. And uh, the 5th square is equal to 25. Which means this, it's not the closest perfect number because uh, 6 square is equal to 36. And uh, 7 square is not also available because it is not, uh, it is not equal or lower than 43. That's why we can take this and this. We can only take this one. And then uh, the next thing we have to do is to draw a vertical and a horizontal lines so that we can do our calculation comfortably. And then we have to write this 6 here and here, which means we multiplying, I mean, we have to multiply this 6 and this 6 here if uh, if you multiply 6 by, uh, by 6 it's equal to 36 and uh, we have to add below the digit we have to add this 6 to, to here and uh, as you can see here uh, we got 12 here and we have to also subtract, which is the fourth step. We have to subtract them. Uh, if you subtract, we got seven. We got seven here. And then we have to get the next pair down. The next pair is 29. And then we have to put the same box down and below. Which means here we have to put same box. I'm gonna mark the box like this. Um, below, below, and uh, also above. As you can see here, we have uh, two empty spaces for digits. Which means we have to make prediction. Which means uh, we have to do trial and error. In order to find the final digits of this unknown number, we have to make prediction.
let's product. So here's a rule. If I found uh, the final digit of this number and uh, when we multiply that final digit to this number which contains that final digit and uh, the product should be equal to uh, 729 or lower to 729 keep this in your mind and uh, I'm gonna write 5 here if I wrote 5 here and uh, my answer should be like this Six hundred twenty-five. Six hundred twenty-five. And uh, this number is lower than seven uh, seven hundred twenty-nine. And uh, here the same action should be repeated. I mean, uh, we have to three also included. I mean we have to write 5 here and 5 here we have to write also 5 here and then we have to multiply below the digit it's equal to we don't write the product here we have to write the product here 625 and then and then we have to subtract them if you subtract we got 4 0 one and uh, we have to also add them together here you can see empty box the same um, down here and below and then we have to get the next pier down 64 and then we have to make the production trial and error. In our case this should be 8. The 8 is more suitable because it is equal to this number when we multiply them. As you can see here 8 multiply 8 64 and our 3 multiply 8 is 24. We have to write 4 here and uh, keep 2 in your mind and uh, 8 multiply 1 8 and then plus is equal 10 and let's subtract them and the answer should be 0 and uh, let's write the final digit I mean the final digit of this unknown number that is 8 which means we got the answer you can do you can do the same actions by following these rules if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, put the uh, down take care thank you for your attention